a particle P moves with acceleration 4i minus 5j meters per second squared. At time t equals 0, P is moving with velocity minus 2i plus 2j meters per second. Find the velocity of P at time t equals 2 seconds. So this can be a SUVAC question. So we can say SUVAT. What do we know? We know the acceleration is 4i minus 5j. We know at t equals 0, so the initial velocity is minus 2i plus 2j. And time is 2 seconds. We want the velocity when t is 2. So we want the velocity. We can use v equals u plus a t. So v equals u plus a t. So v is u, which is minus 2i plus 2j plus a times t. So that's 4i minus 5j times 2, or 2 times 4i minus 5j. So if we expand the bracket, we're going to have 2 times 4i, which is 8i, 2 times minus 5j, which is minus 10j. And just collecting the like terms, the i's together and the j's together. Negative 2 plus 8 is 6. So we've got 6 i's and we've got 2 take away 10 minus 8j. That's the velocity. So it's in meters per second. At time t equals 0, p passes through the origin o. So displacement is 0. It's starting with a displacement of 0. At time t equals t seconds, where t is bigger than 0, the particle passes through a. The position vector of a is lambda i minus 4.5j meters relative to the origin where lambda is a constant, find the value of t. So how long does it take the particle to get to here? So if we just look at the j's, we'll ignore the i's for now, just look at the j's, because we know what the position is in the j's, but we don't know the i's. So just in terms of j, what do we know? So the displacement, we know, is minus 4.5. The initial speed, the initial velocity, in terms of, in j's, was 2. We don't know the final velocity. We know the acceleration. Again, just in j, so it's negative 5. And we're working out the time. So we want the equation without v in it. That is s equals ut plus half at squared. So we can use that equation to find t. So substituting in minus 4.5 equals 2t plus half times minus 5t squared. So minus 4.5 equals 2t minus 5 over 2t squared. We've got a quadratic. We're going to solve it by making it equal to 0. We could also double it to make the numbers a little bit nicer. So if I double this, minus 9 equals 4t minus 5t squared. And make it equal to 0. I'm going to bring everything over to the left side. So that would be 5t squared plus minus 5t squared minus 4t minus 9 equals 0. So now let's solve that. We can factorize it or we could use the quadratic formula or use the calculator to solve it. So we've got... 
9 and 1, we want plus 5, take away 9. So 5t minus 9 and t plus 1. So that means t is 9 over 5, or t is negative 1. We don't want a negative t, so it's 9 over 5, or 1.8 seconds. So that's the value of t. t is 9 over 5. We need to know the value of lambda. So we're going to do the same thing again, but in terms of our i's. So what do we know? So the displacement is lambda. The displacement is lambda. The initial velocity was negative 2. And the acceleration is 4. So the initial velocity, negative 2. Acceleration of 4. And we know now time is 9 over 5. So the one without v in it, again, that's s equals ut plus half at squared. So s is going to be negative 2 times 9 fifths plus half of 4 times 9 fifths squared. We'll just type this in the calculator. So we have negative 2 times 9 over 5 plus a half times 4 times 9 fifths squared. And that's 72 over 25 or 2.88. So 2.88 meters.